What's life like as a student at USC? Depends on the suck. Los Angeles use spring breaks in Bali, resort-style apartment buildings with rooftop pools and tanning beds, and regular dinners out at Nobu, where a tab for four roommates could easily stretch into four digits. This is life as a this is also life as a USC student working an overnight shift to earn money for books, going hungry when the campus meal plan runs out, and seething as friends presume that a dollar twenty glass of wine is affordable. The divide between rich and poor students could hardly be more vivid than it is at USC, where the children of celebrities and real estate moguls study alongside the children of nannies and dishwashers. Now, the witch has ensnared dozens of wealthy parents accused of bribing their children's way into USC, has brought renewed attention to class divides on campus You and how different the student experience can be depending on the size of their bank account. USC tries to paint the campus as this beautiful place to enjoy and relish in abundance, said Oliver Bentley, a sophomore who is among the first in his family to attend college. There's this idea, interviews with students on campus from across the economic spectrum show how difficult it is to navigate a university that tries to be a home for all. After decades of, but the reality for many is a microcosm of the economic disparities of the city the campus calls home you and as in the rest of Los Angeles, the vast majority feel ill-equipped to bridge the divide. The university has made attracting students from all backgrounds a priority and by almost any measure, its recruitment efforts have been a resounding success. The academic pro- and yet, as the bribery cases have made clear, the campus remains a place of pervasive wealth, where celebrity, money, and status are still a part of daily life. This is the campus, on the Sun Street campus, students said conversations focused on a mix of envy and judgment for those with more. Students of all ba- Mr. Bentley was raised by a single mother in Menifee, a small working-class city about 80 miles east of Los Angeles. When he arrived on, undoubtedly, there are benefits to attending a private university with a dollar, 5.5 billion endowment gleaming new buildings, access to premier technology, smaller classes. And wealthy students, we know when low-income students get to these elite schools, they have a large problem with fit, said Jessica Thompson, the Director of Policy and Planning at the Institute for College Access and Success. These schools have built, but whether, because of the students it attracts, or because of its place in glittering Los Angeles, the campus exudes a kind of singular flashiness. There are also some, Heron Mamo, who grew up in Portland as the only child of an epidemiologist and a sports writer who both emigrated from Ethiopia, considers herself middle class. In the last four years, there's not a huge culture of saying no to spending, said Ms. Mamo, who will graduate this spring. You think I deserve, when she has turned down invitations, because of money you bypassing a night out or a spring break in Hawaii, you her friends have been understanding, Ms. Mamo said. Money is rarely sp- for many, the freshman residence halls offer students the most exposure to classmates from a broad swath of economic backgrounds. Some students, as at other large universities in urban areas, the vast majority of students live off campus as upperclassmen. In the last decade, some of the most overt signs of wealth are in the campus fraternity and sorority system, where dues often reach in the thousands of dollars, even before the extra money for exclusive formal parties and the wardrobes required to attend them. One recent trend, the impact of family income goes beyond campus social life. Wealthier students, people know they want to be rich, Ms. Mamo said. That's the goal in mind. Growing up in Cohasset, Massachusetts, a wealthy coastal community south of Boston, Dan Toomey knew he was well off. You would be an AV. Everyone is always pursuing different things, doing all kinds of projects, he said. We've all been told, this year, Mr. Toomey is living at the Lorenzo, which houses about 3,600 students and bills itself as the largest private student housing complex in the country you and the most luxurious. For students who, but not everyone is proud to call it home. Mr. Toomey said, there was no way in the world I was going to do that, it was just a ridiculous thought to me, he said. There's a lot that's...
Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park, pot. 